This week, the Trump administration said that it will reverse President Obama's decision to phase out the federal use of private prisons. Maria Villarreal has been looking into this. Law enforcement surrounded the Willsey County Correctional Facility in Texas back in February 2015 after inmates rioted and set fires in the prison. At the time, the 2800 inmate facility was privately operated by the Management and Training Corporation. The riot was one of several incidents in the last decade that led the Obama administration to begin phasing out privately run federal prisons. A Department of Justice memo by then Deputy Attorney General Sally Yates cited a decrease in the federal prison population from nearly 220,000 inmates in 2013 to fewer than 195,000 today. The memo concluded that private federal prisons don't save the government money, don't provide the same level of services, and are less safe and secure. It was written after a report by the Inspector General found overall higher incidents of violent assaults, contraband, and inmate misconduct at private prison facilities. New U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions disagreed rescinding that memo, saying it impaired the Bureau's ability to meet the future needs of the federal correctional system. TAP Correctional Institution Warden Craig Apker believes private prisons serve a good purpose to help alleviate prison overpopulation while providing valuable educational training. Basically, that OIG report was saying, compared to federally run prisons, that private run prisons were more dangerous. Is that the case here? Um, that is not the case in my experience. I really believe that we are uh, operate every bit as good as any bureau facility I've ever been in, and in fact, better than just about everyone I can imagine. CBS News has learned two of the three major private prison companies donated half a million dollars combined to President Trump's inauguration committee. But Scott, the U.S. Department of Justice says this decision was all about giving prison officials the flexibility they need to manage their facilities properly. Maria Villarreal reporting for us tonight.